Should I just look? Oh my god! Yes, Dakota! Yes, we got a snakehead! 100%! Look, don't break. Dude, it's massive. Don't break my trap! That's a freaking baby, dude, and it's getting big. See those teeth right there? Don't want to mess with that, dude. You don't see that every time. Ow! Oh my oh, god! Dude, you're, you're gushing blood. Who knows what he's been eating? Because all these fish in here are my pet fish. Look how fat he is. What's he eating, bro? What's up VFP Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video guys. Today we're here at one of my ponds, Pond X. You guys absolutely love Pond X. This is a pond that I've been stocking for about five years now. I have permission to do whatever I want. It's completely enclosed in. So all the fish I put in here are my pets and we've been stocking this for, like I said, five years. And uh, we have some really cool fish in here. For example, we got a giant school of Paku we recently put in here and they've gotten absolutely massive. Those things are like the size of my head now. We've got Oscars in here, Vieja Cichlids, Gars, Big Bass, Peacock Bass. The list goes on and on. But guys, a few years ago, a couple snakeheads got in here from a flood. And uh, ever since then, I haven't been able to really catch them out. There's like three or four now, and they were breeding a couple years ago. I saw babies. If you guys don't know what snakeheads are, they're highly invasive here in South Florida. And uh, they made their way into this pond, and they're starting to take over. They've had babies, there's big ones, and they're just way too smart for me to get out. Whenever I try to like hook them or cast at them, they just know. They just know I'm trying to get rid of them, and they don't bite. They are really smart in here. And uh, recently we built a giant fish trap and we put it in here and we didn't have any luck. We only caught our pet Paku. But we're gonna try again today with some different bait and uh, pray that we get a snakehead because I've been trying to remove them from Pond X for a while now. And hopefully today is the day. Guys, we're gonna start off by feeding the fish. We got some dog food here. Paku, Oscars, all those cichlids. Love the dog food. So uh, let's get a nice little shot and see if we can call the Paku over. There's fish right under the bank. You see him look right there? Oh my God. Under the bank. There's, there's so many baby fish. Okay guys, I don't know if you saw that. I tried to zoom in on them, but that was a whole school of baby Oscars right down here. I saw the mom too, the mom came in. So the Oscars are breeding once again. There was thousands of, oh, we got fish coming up. Those might be Oscars. Oh, yep, here comes some fish. Oh my gosh. Oh, big fish right there. That might've been the snakehead. That's all of them out there, bro. Look at them go. I think that's all the Paku out there. The glare is really bad. You can't actually see the fish itself, but you can see them blowing up there. Let's go get our fish trap and set it and hope for the best, guys. We're going to try and catch these snakeheads out today, these highly invasive fish that have made their way into Pond X. We don't want them. Dude, I've been trying to get these out for months now. If we get them out today, I'm going to be really excited. We actually have Dakota behind the camera, so if we get them, Dakota's going to eat them. That's what he always does, so yeah, we got a good game plan, guys. Let's go set up a trap. All right, guys, here's our giant mega fish trap we're going to be using today to try and get rid of these snakeheads. Here's how it works. Basically, we're gonna get some bait, put it in here. This is a little trap door, check it out, Dakota. So we're gonna put bait in here, and then the snake has whatever fish smells it. They're gonna go in, because it's real easy to go in, but they cannot get out because the door shuts on them, and the fish are stupid. They just can't figure it out. They don't have enough brain cells, so. Yeah, we also have some bait we just cast netted. We got some tilapia bluegill. We're gonna load them up in this trap, and hopefully the snakeheads smell them, they hear them. All right, guys, we're gonna get in the water here and set it. Hopefully the Paku don't bite my toes off, because they are cousins of the piranha. They got some gnarly teeth on them. So right here, as you can tell, the trap doesn't sink, because the material is made out of and all that. Or does it? No, yeah, it definitely doesn't sink. But what we're gonna do is actually, see this pipe right here? It's a perfect wedge. I found this out last time we did this. It worked out perfectly. So we're just gonna wedge it in here so that the trap, you know, stays down and the hole is in the water. Boom. Look at that. Isn't that just perfect? It's perfect. Actually, the water's dropping because I haven't had rain in a while, but yeah, check it out. Here's the hole right here. The water is just barely big enough. It's actually good like this because it makes the fish, like the yeah, and it's easier for them to see the hole and go in because it's like right there on top. So this is perfect, guys. Let's get this bait in the trap. All right, baby, we got our bait we just caught. Fresh caught bait, that's the way to go. So here we go. In the trap you go, in the trap you go. That bait is smelly, dude. Those fish smell real bad. Well, the trap is placed. Hopefully we get lucky, get us some snakeheads. Guys, go down there right now. Leave a like for good luck. I'm praying we get it done today because I've been trying to make this video for a while, trying to get at least one snakehead out of here and it's just impossible. These fish are so smart. Maybe the trap will juke them out and they'll go in and, and be stupid. But yeah, guys, Pond X is thriving. We just saw baby Oscars. We recently just put a soft shell in here too. I don't know where he's at, but we saved him from the foreign food market. You guys saw that video. 
we put him here in Pond X and uh, he's living a good life. There's a bunch of turtles in here, a bunch of turtle friends. And uh, we also put five of those freaking eels. Maybe we'll come here at night with a spotlight and see if we can find the eels. Me and Dakota, actually, I'm gonna throw up a clip right now. We can catch those eels in the wild. Oh Dakota, God. we spotted an eel. Oh my God. That's a freaking eel in the oh wild. My God. <laughs> oh my God, we got him now. Guys, we're out here snakehead fishing at night and we see an eel. He's gonna cast them. <laughs> oh, oh, he's moving. He's moving. Okay, I'm taking my shoes off. I'm getting ready. Oh, no, no. that was a branch. We just found that out last night. We were snakehead fishing and we saw a freaking eel, dude. So if you guys want to see a video of us actually catching those in the wild at night, go down there and let me know. But yeah, guys, we'll see you in a few hours when we check this fish trap. All right, guys, it's about four hours later. We got a bucket. We're here at Pond X and uh, we're going to check our fish trap right now. Dakota, do you have high hopes? What do you uh, think we got? Snakehead. You think so? I don't know. I think we caught the Paku again. Yeah. I think we caught all the Paku again, dude. You know what? Either way, it's cool to do fish traps in here. Oh, even Oscar! No way. Where? Right there. There's two of them. Oh my god, they're breeding. Oh, wait, there, there's babies. This is crazy, dude. Dakota just spotted another pair of Oscars with babies. We saw the babies. Um, so that's two different pairs because the other ones we saw earlier at the start of the video were on the other side of the pond. And uh, this, this time we saw two parents. The other time it was just the mom, I think. So that's crazy, guys. Oscars are breathing like crazy in here. Here we go, here's our cat baby. All right, you know what I think I should do? I think I should take a peek on this side, ready? I'm gonna take a peek on this side. Look, it was right up on it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we got a fish. Look, look, try to get close. I can see his nose, bro. Oh dude, I see like the, the cloud from yeah, him. see his nose? Look, right there. Should I pick it up or should I just like, Feel around in there. All right, nah, just pick it up and lift it so they, they can't get out. Okay, okay. I want to see what it is first. I see the bait. Ready? I'm gonna pick it. I don't see him. I don't think it's a Paku because I would see the Paku in there. Their bellies would because they're huge. Ugh. God dang it, it's hard to get out. There. Bro! There's a fish in there, 100%. Oh! Oh, it's just, that's the bait. <laughs> All right, the traps. The traps out, ready? Should I just look? Oh my God, yes, Dakota. Yes, we got a snakehead, 100%. Look, I see his tail, bro. I just saw the red dot on his tail. Or that could be an Oscar too. I think it's a snakehead though, it's huge. Ready? Lift it. Should I lift it? Lift it. Oh, right here, right here. He's up here, he's up here. Oh, 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 oh! yes! Is it a snake Oh my god. Bro, it's massive. Oh my. It's freaking huge. Ah! Oh my god, stop it. We got, ow, I don't know what to do. What do we do? Oh, we can't let him go back in the pond, bro. There's no way I'm letting that happen. Oh, there's two of them. Just pull it up, pull it up higher, pull it up higher. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh my god. Dude, it's huge. Oh. <laughs> All right, ready, right here. Let me get water in the bucket for the other fish. There's other fish. Hello. Hello. Finally, we got one, and it's huge. <sighs> Ready? I'm gonna get him out. Look at that thing. That is a mean snakehead. Right? No, don't break my trap. Don't break, dude. It's massive. Don't break my trap. Don't slap me. <sighs> Look at the size. He's about... God dang, bro. He's strong. Look at, God, <gasps> dude. There's, a there's another one. There's a V8. No way. It's a baby. Yes. They're breeding in here. They're breeding. Look, know what that is? That's a snakehead bite right there. You see that? Yeah. 100% snakehead bite. Wow, guys, these are v cichlids. We put them in here. Oh, there's a bath too. Let's get all the fish we want to keep, you know, in the bucket real quick. Oh, another one, another one. Yeah? Another Vieja, ready? And bring them down. Right here, look. Look how sick that is, guys. Oh. These are babies. This one's pretty. So. I'm gonna pop up some pictures right now. We caught these Vieja cichlids uh, at a spot here in Florida in a canal. And when they're really big, they're really pretty. We put them in here and I guess they're breeding now. That's so sick. They almost look like flower horns. Yeah, they? yeah, they do. I think they actually use those to make flower horns. Oh, for real? Yeah. This is oh, there's another one. There's another one, look. Three Viejas. And you see that? Baby snakehead, dude. There's a freaking baby. Oh no, they're breeding. Look at this. The snakehead are breeding too. God, everything's breeding. Everything's breeding in here. Pond X, dude, it's a sanctuary for all the fish. But these fish, we sadly do not want them in here. 
That's a freaking baby doing it. It's getting big. Look, belly full of baby ossaries right there, I bet. Look how fat he is. Guys, we did it. That's a baby snakehead. Remember how I said I saw the snakehead fry? Now, that's why I have a lot of big bass in here and things to eat them. So, I don't think many survive. So, oh, but this guy definitely did because that's a pretty small snakehead. Look at the size difference. This might be their mama, too. Oh, this one's actually really pretty. Look at the white dots on them. That's, you don't see that every time. Ow! Oh my oh, god! Dude, you're, you're gushing blood. Dude, that freaking hurt. Dude. That hurt a lot. Ow. Did he bite you? Yeah, he freaking bit me, bro. These fish are vicious, guys. One of the most invasive fish in Florida. That's why we don't want them in our ponds, dude. These things will eat anything. They'll destroy your pond. And we finally got one, dude. That is a freaking dragon right there. One of the biggest snakeheads I've caught in a while. Like that's, dude, nine pounds at least, right? Yeah. So giant. But look, see, as I was saying, see the white dots right there? Yeah. That's a pretty snakehead. Now, not all snakeheads have that. He's got some pretty colors on him, but sadly, we got to get rid of him. Too bad we can't keep him as a pet. But the thing is, guys, I like these other fish in here a lot more. I don't want these eating all of them, destroying the pond. So, Dakota, you're going to... Ow! God dang, you got me again. Oh. Bobby's just a wimp. He doesn't know how Bro, to hold them. Look how bad I'm bleeding. Oh, dude. Ow. You got to hold him like this. <laughs> oh, look at the blue on him, too. That's actually really not too Yo, common to see blue. Let's catch a bull shark on him. You think so? Yeah. I mean, I heard they're good shark bait. Look at the meat on them, dude. This thing's fat. Who knows what it's been eating? Because all these fish in here are my pet fish. Look how fat he is. What's he eating, bro? Guys, real quick, look at these teeth. Do you think, why am I bleeding so bad? Look at these teeth. Ready? Oh my God. Look at that mouth. Look at those teeth up there. You don't want to get bit by that. See those teeth right there? Don't want to mess with that, dude. All right, we did it. Finally, oh my God, we got one, dude. We outsmarted them finally. And we got a baby. This makes me worried, bro. The baby, because I've baby. never. It's a, it's a baby. This is a juvenile, bro. I've never seen a, a freaking snakehead this small in here. So put him in his mouth. There's more than we think. <laughs> All right, we're gonna before we do anything with these snakeheads, we're gonna get these these fish that we actually do like. Uh, we got a little bass in here. I think we caught this one last time, bro. This thing's pretty stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, we caught the same bass last time. He's got some got some meat on him too. We're gonna let him go. There it goes. See ya, baby Viejas in the pond. Look. Look how pretty those are, guys. See those colors? They get insanely colorful as they get older. All right, guys, be free. <sighs> Dakota, we did it. Now you're gonna eat the snake head, right? Nope, using it for shark bait. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, guys, real quick, Dakota actually just gave me a really good idea. I think we're gonna fillet this snake head. Maybe not the baby, because he doesn't really have a bunch of meat on him, but this one, we're gonna fillet, and we're gonna feed all the meat to our fish, like the red tails, the bass, the Oscars, the shovel nose. Guys, we're gonna head back to the house, start filleting the snakehead, and we're gonna feed our fish. This is crazy. This fish was euthanized, guys. Completely humane. Now we're gonna use all the meat to feed the fish because, you know, we're not gonna let any fish go to waste. No meat, go to waste. Oh my God, guys, I don't know how much I'm gonna show of this, but uh, the snakehead's being filleted right now. <laughs> Woo! Supposedly, snakeheads taste good, right, Dakota? Yeah. Yeah, I've never had one before, guys, so if you wanna see a snakehead catch and cook where we catch one in the wild and we cook it and we eat it, Go down there and let me know. Dakota just filleted the snake in, and here's some of the meat we're gonna use. Now, I already fed all the fish today, so this is just like a little dessert for them, but I'm gonna keep a lot of this, and I'm gonna freeze it, and uh, just use this when I feed the fish from now on. I might actually start doing this more because, you know, buying tilapia every day from the store to feed my fish, it gets expensive, so. This looks just like the meat you would buy from the store to feed your fish. And uh, yeah, we caught it, so. Come on, who's hungry? Who wants a snakehead? Oh, he ate it. Oh, here comes Blaze. Blaze, Blaze smells the food. Ready? Show knows about to pick that up. Boom! Crushed it. Oh, look at Blaze. <laughs> Ian's coming. Ian wants one. Ian wants one. Come on, Ian, eat. Oh, dude, Ian's smelling it. Look, his whiskers are going crazy. Come on, eat it. Come on, Ian. Eat it, Ian. Oh, here comes Blaze. You want a big piece, Blaze? Here, you get a giant piece. Ready? Over here. You gotta come over here, though. Over here. Come on. This piece is huge. Come on, come get the snakehead. Oh, big gulp. Blaze one another. Oh, Blaze just crushed that. Oh, there's someone who stole it. You saw that? All right, guys. Well, as you can tell, the fish are full. I already filmed today, but 
I'm gonna keep this meat and I'm gonna freeze it and uh, just keep feeding my fish just for a couple days. But yeah, guys, that was crazy. We finally got rid of two snakeheads from Pond X, so if he wants to go back, try to get another one out because I think there was around three or four full grown adults in there. If you want us to go back and make a part two, try to get the rest of them out, go down there, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.